Hi, my name is Steve Levitt, and I am the GIS Specialist here at the Nevada Bureau of Land Management, Fire and Aviation. What we're looking at today is the Nevada Wildfire Information Map. It is available to the public, and what it does is it displays the current wildland fire activity across the state in near real time. Before we get into actually what we're seeing on the map, let me get to um, the, all the buttons and gadgets that will help you navigate the map. Over in the top left, you have your zoom in, which is the plus, and your zoom out, which is the minus. The home button will bring you back to what you're looking at now, this home screen. Um, and then the, the crosshair symbol below the home button is uh, your GPS location. If you're looking at, us on, looking at this excuse me, on a mobile device, um, it'll show you where you're at. Uh, top right of the map, you have an information icon, and that'll explain the map as a whole. Next to that, you have your legend, which will help explain what all the features um, and symbols are on the map. Um, so basically, your, your uncontained incidents are in red, your contained incidents are in green, uh, and so forth. You have fire perimeters that are on the map, which come from firefighters in the field mapping the fire, uh, like I said, in near real time, and you also have weather data. So basically, in a nutshell, the larger the ring around the fire, the bigger the fire is. If there's a flame on the fire, it's new within the last 24 hours. Okay, so next to the legend, we have your map configuration. Um, you can turn layers on and off. You can also change your base map. Uh, next to that, you can add data if you're GIS savvy. And then to the right of that, you can share the map with others. So currently what we're looking at on the map is, uh, like I said, everything in red are uncontained incidents. You can see the current radar, and you can also see warnings from the Weather Service. So in orange, there is a severe thunderstorm warning, and in pink, there are red flag warnings. Um, everything on the map is clickable. So if we click on the red, I'm sorry, the uh, severe thunderstorm warning, it will tell you the dates that it's issued from and when it will expire. Uh, there's a link for details, and that'll bring you to the National Weather Service page. And that goes the same with red flag warnings. Um, if you click on a fire incident, it will also bring up a pop-up that gives you more information about that incident. But use it, share it. Um, it's a great resource for the state. And uh, have a safe safe summer. Thank you.